Hi, this is Rich Carlson. Welcome to another episode of The Art of Rope Work here at Canyons and Crags. Today we're going to be talking about rigging for rescue in situations where the most likely rescue is going to be a haul. So, grab your gear and a rope and follow along. I really enjoy making these instructional videos and hope you enjoy watching them, maybe even learning a bit from them. If you're interested in online training or some of my hands-on workshops, please visit my website at canyonsandcrags.com. While you're there, check out the gear in my online store. You can also show your support by becoming a patron at patreon.com. In rigging, I differentiate between what I call tail down, illustrated here on the left, and tail up illustrated on the right. When we rig tail down, we keep extra rope at the top for contingencies. When we fix the tail of the rope at the top and toss the bulk of the rope down, we dramatically reduce our options. That isn't necessarily a bad thing in situations where rescue will most likely involve hauling. An example might be when you are rappelling into a pit with no way out at the bottom, so your exit plan is to ascend the rope. We could simply tie a knot in the end of the rope, fix it to the anchor, and hope we don't encounter any problems. But after a few moments of wise contemplation and some simple rigging, we can be much better prepared. In my first example, I set up a friction wrap around a single point anchor. This rigging relies on the friction of the wraps around the tree for holding power. The knot at the end of the rope serves only to secure the tail so it doesn't come unwrapped. There is no tension on the knot so it can easily be untied. A sling or some webbing tied around the tree serves as my rescue anchor. I am using a micro traction as a progress capture device. Once the micro traction is installed, I simply need to unwrap the rope from around the tree. Notice I am taking care to stay in control of the rope while I am unwrapping. I will use the friction of the last wrap or two to transfer the load onto the microtraction. Once the progress capture device is holding the load, I can add another rope grab and pulley to create some mechanical advantage for hauling. Rigging a releasable contingency system is something we normally do when we rig tail down so we are able to lower someone quickly if the need arises. It makes sense to rig releasable even when your rescue plan involves hauling instead of lowering. In this example I am using my Canyon Quick Draw to connect the progress capture device to the rope just past the Munter Mule rigging. Think ahead to avoid connecting to something you plan to remove in a subsequent step. Once the progress capture device is installed on the rope, release and lower to transfer the load. Take care to stay in control of the brake rope as you transfer the load onto the progress capture device. If you make a mistake installing the PCD, you can still recover. Once the PCD is holding the load, you can install a rope grab and pulley to provide mechanical advantage for hauling. Using your totem in gesture mode will make the rescue even more efficient. The gesture will serve as your releasable contingency system and can function as a linear rigging plate for installing a progress capture device on the rope. For what I hope are very rare occasions when you or someone in your group fails to rig for rescue, you will need to employ the two-step process. Step one involves bitch slapping. Step two is hoping that you can solve the problem with the Spanish balancier. It certainly looks simple. Clip your lanyard into the rope between the knot and the progress capture device. 
pull up on the loaded rope while leaning back. If you are strong enough and or heavy enough, and the person on the rope is light enough, and you don't have to overcome a lot of friction too, it just might work. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please share it with others on your favorite social media. Thanks for watching.